Hi, I'm Niall Heaney from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today, I want to show you around this Monterey 180 FS by Rider. This is a 2010 boat fitted with a Meracruiser 4.3 litre, 190 horsepower stern drive. It's uh, got 232 hours on the clock currently. Lovely spec of boat with the wide band, navy blue hull color stripe, Joby wakeboard tire, uh, extended swim platform, bimini top, and a twin axle trailer as well. So this boat is a, uh, a really nice 18 foot bow rider. Um, good high sides on it, deep V hull. It's uh, seven foot, eight inches wide. This one with the extended swim platform is actually 20 foot long, um, but 18 foot hull. So it's pretty uh, compact and manageable for towing, launch and recovery, storage and things. So this is a 2010 boat. Up until 2020, it was only ever used in fresh water. And then the current owner has had it in a bit of a mixture of fre fresh water and salt water, but it's never been kept in the water. It's always been launched and recovered. So the hull bottom has never been anti-foiled. It's the original gel coat finish on the hull bottom. Um, and it has really benefited from, you know, having spent the majority of its life in fresh water. So down along the starboard side, looks every bit as smart as the port side and then the extended swim platform is also in great shape. You've got the same rub rail wrapped around the edge of the swim platform. We've got a folding three-step stainless steel boarding ladder here. You've got a central ski towing eye in the center, so you can pull water skiers from there. You've obviously got the high level 2.2 for wakeboarders and stuff like that. The engine is a Mercruiser 4.3 liter V6. It's matched up to this Alpha 1 stern drive leg um, all in original condition, so it's the original paint finish. There's no lumps or anything out of the skeg. The propeller is in pretty good shape. There's no dings, it could probably do with a lick of paint, but there's no dings on the blades. They're all in good condition. And it's a four blade prop as well, which is a big improvement for water sports use. And it's a 20 inch pitch. In terms of covers, this boat's been sold with this bimini top or spray hood as I call them and then as well as that we also have the tonneau covers so the storage covers so the flat cover for the bow and the flat cover for the cockpit um, for whenever you're not using the boat they're all in nice shape as well so this big swim platform arrangement is complemented by a full width sun pad across the stern so you can sit on the sun pad and you know put water skis on or just sit and you know for swimming off the back of the boat it's nice You've got a full width bench seat in front of that and then we've got pedestal seats for the helmsman and forward passenger and then the bow walkway out under the bow area so this boat is in beautiful condition actually the, the interior is excellent it's all the original upholstery so we've got bucket style helm and passenger seats these both have flip up bolsters so you can flip up the bolster to sit on top they rotate around so they can face aft you know for spotting skiers they're adjustable fore and aft as well underneath both of these seats you've got storage bins that's there's a tonneau cover living in there underneath this one again another part of the cover with the support poles there's a pile of storage in here as well which is in beside the engine bay so that lifts up on a couple of gas struts Mercruiser 4.3 liter tks which is stands for turnkey start it's 190 horsepower it has spent the vast majority of its life in fresh water and it really shows and that is the engine to have in a boat of this size particularly if you're looking to do some water sports with it that the extra power and torque out of the v6 is always welcome the boat is rated to carry six passengers plus gear so with the, the full width bench at the back and the helm and passenger seat you'll seat six people behind the windscreen uh, the gunnel height is good so it comes up to sort of you know up to almost shoulder height uh, the windscreen then comes up very quickly too so everybody even if you're sitting back here your passengers are going to feel nice and safe and secure inside the boat you've got this monterey badge etched into the ski locker lid so you lift that up and you have a huge big ski locker passenger seat is uh same as a helm seat beautiful condition monterey badges and stuff all on it you've got loads of cup holders handrail here Two stainless steel cup holders in front, another one in here, and we storage bin for odds and ends. Helm station then is nicely appointed. Again, fully adjustable helm seat with the flip up bolster. All the upholstery is in immaculate condition. Power steering on this boat, obviously. Throttle and shift lever falls easily to hand. Haven't had this boat on the water yet, just given the time of year. Um, but we will endeavor in the next few weeks, hopefully, 
to get this boat on the water and give it a proper sea trail and I can run you through everything here in the dash. But This is your tackle with built in hour clock so it's currently showing 232.9 hours on the clock which is nothing to these motors. So nicely appointed dash. Um, we've got this big water sports mirror as well so you can keep an eye on the action behind the boat um, and good visibility through the screen from the helm seat. I certainly run and sold quite a few Monterey 180s with the 4.3 litre engine and they go great. There's piles of torque there, piles of performance. They're up on plane quickly, even with a full load of passengers. Um, cruising speeds are like 25, 30 miles an hour, flat out. They're sort of approaching 50 miles an hour. And as I said, loads of power for pulling water skiers and water toys and wakeboarders. Because this one's fitted with a 20 pitch prop, it's maybe going to be slightly slower on the top end speed. You know, maybe 45 or something, 46 miles an hour, which is still plenty in one of these boats. But the benefit of that is you'll have better acceleration onto the plane, better hole shot. So if you are pulling wakeboarders and stuff with a full complement of passengers, you want that extra acceleration as opposed to the top end speed. This is all molded fiberglass, so a non-skid deck and a nicely upholstered bow area. Sides come up fairly high. You don't feel like you're sitting perched on top of the boat and you've got the handrail to hold on to. This seat lifts out and you've got your anchor locker in there, so a decent anchor and chain going with this boat as well. And more storage underneath this side here as well. The boat is being sold complete with this uh, twin axle in dispension roller coaster trailer that you see it sitting on. So twin wheel trailer, quite well balanced on the road. Full roller coaster trailer as well, so it's very easy to launch and recover. I am beginning to find that it's getting more and more difficult to locate nice examples of this style of boat. You know, these American powered bow riders and cutties with inboard engines. Um, just because as they get a wee bit, they start to get a wee bit older, um, it's just harder to find really nice, clean, honest, tidy examples. Having a fresh water boat, which this one primarily is up until the last two years, it's only ever been a fresh water, makes a huge difference to the longevity of the, the engine primarily and also all the nice sort of shiny fittings in the interior and stuff like that. Just the salt water environment on boats like this is very corrosive. You know, it's, um, it's hard to keep them in pristine condition over long periods of time if you're using them in the sea. Um, so I'm always on the lookout for freshwater ones. I'm starting to move more and more away from saltwater boats for that reason. You know, they just need so much money spent on them in terms of maintenance and getting them ready for sale and making sure that it's not gonna give trouble for the foreseeable future. Whereas freshwater ones, um, are really what we spend our time trying to source. So this is exactly the type of thing we like to get. Um, from a buying point of view, if you're looking to buy a boat um, uh, for, for a freshwater use, this is ideal. If you're thinking about buying it for using it in the, in the sea, while well, you can do it, just bear in mind it is going to be harder to keep the boat in good condition for a long period of time. It's going to require more money to spend on maintenance and upgrades and things like that. So I think that this boat would be perfectly suited to the lake, somewhere like Fermanagh here in Northern Ireland, um, like Loch Lomond in Scotland, Lake Windermere on the Shannon system in Ireland. This is perfect for scooting about the lake with water skiing at the weekends. Um, and there's, it's gonna have bags more life in it um, as well. So yeah, this is the type of thing that I really do like to get my hands on. If you are comparing it to, an, to another boat or you're looking at a few, just bear in mind that if you're looking at saltwater stuff, this is vastly superior. Uh, because it has been used in fresh water. So just want to say that just as a sort of by the by, a bit of advice. Um, but yeah, always, if you're in the market for this style of boat, if you can find a fresh water one, that is the one to go for. If you like the look of this Monterey 180 FS and you'd like to find out more about it, then please sign up for VIP access on our website at gulfstreamboatsales.com. All you have to do is pop your name and email address into the box below this video on our site at gulfstreamboatsales.com and you can get VIP access which is completely free. Once you've signed in then navigate back to the Monterey 180 page and you can watch our full length video tour where we go through the boat in a lot more detail. I'll show you inside all the storage compartments, give you a good look around the engine bay, walk you through the dashboard on it and also you know just sort of try and give you a better idea of the condition this one's in, what it's all about and hopefully help you to figure out whether it might be the right boat for you. So that's sign up for VIP access at gulfstreamboatsales.com. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video.